undefeated Austin Bruins playing host to four Minot Minotauros in game one in the Central Division semifinals. First period, Bruins on the power play. Puck back out. The leave for James Goffredo, and he lights the lamp. Austin is on the board first in this one. A little later here. Man, this was a very chippy game. Fight for the puck here. Zacher goes down. That'll lead to a Minot rush. Three on two here. But watch this incredible save from Trent Wimkin, the rookie. A big play, but you see, though, at the tail end there, a penalty on Austin. Bruins racked up 43 penalty minutes in the game. Yet still lead. That is until the second period. That's Hunter Longy taking aim. That screamer will find the back of the net. This game is tied at one. This game would go to OT, and it is the Bruins who will take game one. 4-3 to three in overtime. Next here, there were gray skies outside, but it did not stop this softball doubleheader. Section quarterfinal rematch between St. Charles and defending state champs Chatfield. First inning, St. Charles' Maya Omdahl returns this to sender. That's up the middle. A base knock will score one. St. Charles on the board. And Saints, well, they were blessing Chatfield with base hits all day. Maddie Williamson, third base, can't reach it. That leaks to the outfield for another run. Then Caitlin Chuchna, Ripper, right down the line. One comes in, a second, rounding third. The throw here is on time, but obstruction is called at third. That will count. It's 4 0 St. Charles. Gophers got to get out of the inning. Claire Springer does just that, gets it done. But St. Charles just too much. McCaden Gust, a bouncer. That will find grass for an RBI. Saints up five zip. I tell you, for St. Charles, the bats weren't the only thing working. Brenna Keppel been sensational to start the year. That's a strikeout. St. Charles wins 10-0 in five innings here in game one. Saints would get the sweep, winning game two, eight, nothing. Last year, a shout out to a trio of Century Swimmers who signed their national letters of intent this morning to swim Division I level. Here left to right on this picture, Jensen Richard to St. Thomas. Katie Holm is going to Davidson. Jack Holm is headed to South Dakota State. All three were captains and All-State honorees this year. Also, a shout-out to Emily Garrison and Paige Patton, who signed on signing day. Garrison will swim for Pepperdine and Patton for St. Cloud State.